Oh, excellent donor. He brought that stock back, man. Great back here. Oh no. Interesting to see dash attack in there actually. I, f I don't. Do you know if Ganondorf's dash attack is a l it has different properties in PM than it does in melee? No. That was actually insane. Dude, I know. It's ridiculous. Sorry, sorry, PM, but Marvel's actually getting freaking hype because it's not lame. Ah, you, you, you think this is lame? No, dude. I'm talking about like how how the meta got with freaking some of the people that play that game make it oh, super unfun to play. Like Morgan players, it, it's gross. That was sick, though. Eichelman's pretty much calling on a lot of Quap's dash ins as well. True. Even if he's not necessarily going to do anything, he's kind of calling out the dash in, which is yeah. which is really good, really pro. You normally don't see that at I guess at at the regional level. And Eichelman is landing a surprising hey, amount of, amount of wizards. Oh, they play Marvel as well. Yeah. They're big into everything, it seems like. Eichelman's 2-1 over Quaff right now. He's going Fox. And then Quaff switching to Fox and switching to Brawl Fox at that. On FD2. That's really weird. Oh, shit, dude. Excellent area. Excellent drift on the Nair. Beautiful spacing. Using the using the oh lasers at pretty good ranges. Hold out that. Oh, did you see that shine grab? That shine grab was beautiful. Zero, to, a death. zero to death zero on Eichelman with Fox. Welcome to Fox. This, his Fox is actually really good. Oh my goodness. Very good angle on the fire Fox. Not so much on the side B. I don't necessarily what? like that option. Okay. Stream lagged a little bit. Yeah, scared me a little bit. That. I thought something bad, really bad happened. I thought like the game froze. Yeah. A little over anxious with the full hops, but he manages to shield before he gets punished. Beautiful. Quaff, Quaff nodding, um, as, oh as almost as gosh. if to say like he has a handle on the matchup. He's figured something out, and he's not too frustrated. I'm trying to read, it took forty-two percent from two downers. That's actually ridiculous. Ooh, excellent, excellent great, calling out the miss tech with, the, with the up smash. Uh oh, you do not want to be off stage against me. Interesting. I would have up aired personally, but. This guy is definitely a way better player than I am. Excellent so. by Quaff. And it's looking like this may go to game five, actually. Yeah. Maybe. Just maybe. Wizard's foot almost killed. It did. Bad DI because you have the reverse hitbox of it, sending him the opposite direction. And I'm not going to lie. I almost kind of want to see a little bit more of Quaff. I, uh, I like his play style. We'll probably see plenty of him tomorrow. Oh, single what the heck was Nair. that, dude? Oh, my goodness. Oh, the taunt? With the taunt. Oh, my. Oh, oh Ian, my you're sick. Goodness. Ian, you're sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And, and Let's and see if Quaff can do something crazy himself. And Eichelman's kind of, kind of riding the momentum right now. And Quaff's got a mountain to climb if he wants to come he back. Does. It was looking good at first. No, it's starting to. And that's exactly rough. what Eichelman needed uh, to, to, to keep yeah. this from going to game five was a big punish like that. And a, and given the nature of it, oh, the Quap doesn't look like he's too disturbed by it. Excellent side beat to the edge. Shorting it, so shortening it oh, just a no. bit. No. 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 Oh, my no. The, side, the freaking up B, dude. Ridiculous. Eichelman taking Eichelman, out Quap. man. Eichelman doing some crazy stuff that last game right there. That was insane. That was absolutely insane. That whole sequence.
dude, that was awesome. Quaff, uh, so Quaff walks away, uh, <laughs> losing two, one, losing three one, making Ooh. third, which is very much impressive. However, I'm sure we will be seeing him tomorrow. Uh, he is decidedly a melee player as opposed to a PM player. Um, so it'll be interesting PM, to see that's, how that's really he. Good though. Yeah, yeah. It will be interesting to see how he stacks up uh, against Montana's and Idaho's and Colorado's best in melee. But for now, we have here we have grand finals against uh, Ka Master from winners and Eichelman from losers. See if Eichelman Luigi Ganondorf goes super sane in this match and do really well against this Luigi. Oh my. Oh my gosh, so Eichelman's gonna have to do- Oh my gosh! See you later, Luigi. That was a great first talk by Eichelman right there. I was gonna get off commentary, but I actually really wanna watch this now. Oh my gosh. Oh, Most people almost. forget about that, that Ganon actually has a reflector. You know he that? does. It seems like, um, from what I hear, it's not too good. No, no not people are not, not as good as Mario's or Dr. Mario's at all, but it still works. An excellent work by Com Master, cleaning up the stock. Um, it seems, it seems like most people that have fought Com Master just have oh. not been able to keep that lead against his Luigi. See how much shield pressure just like two hits did? It's ridiculous. Oh man. JK. So F tilts are just like stuffing everything that anybody can do. I feel like the only possible way to get around it, I know this sounds really dumb and self prioritizing my character, but I feel like a Game & Watch down tilt could stuff it really, really well. Michaelman looks like he's taking off the headphones. He is. He's done, dude. This isn't like he. This is he's his final up. form. Here we go. Com Master being really respectful right there, not even doing anything while he, you know, he's doing his stuff over there. I haven't seen any up smashes from this Ganon at all. Up smash is so good with Ganon. It's good, but it's very laggy and true, it's very true. situational. There it is again. It's working. He's got misfire. Oh, oh he tried to he time it. He had the read. He tried to um, time it. Well. But he was just off a little bit on the hip. That was a great air dodge on the stage instead of having to regularly use his side B or his up B, where it could have been stuffed by a down air or such. Great F tilt. Stuffs the wizard's foot. Oh, my goodness. Com Master's going. The Com Master pretty much does a uh, ledge drop aerial of his own. I actually really want to play Calm Master in PM. I don't care if I get bodied. I just want to like try it. Ooh, great, great wizards for it. This is still doable for Ganon. Oh, unless he does stuff like that. And he teched it. And yeah. Ooh, great backer. So it's one stock to one stock right now, 20% deficit on Eichelman against Ka Masters Luigi in the first set of Grand Finals. Actually, and, and it's pretty even. Yeah, it is. Um, Ian definitely turned, turned up. I like how you called him Ian. He's such a nerd. Ian, Eichelman, same thing. But definitely Ooh. a market difference between... Uh, the set in winners. Yes. To where Kamaster was just agree. very dominant over over Eichelman. Just don't get taunt spiked and then we're good. <laughs> he still lit Whoa. Down B animation pushed made Ooh. him bigger, so it pushed him out. Common thing seen in Smash 4 too. Michaelman's doing a number of things with his hair. I feel like maybe like every time, okay, like when he has his hat on, that's like he'll rock Lee with the weights, and then he takes the headphones off and the hat off, and it's like throwing off the weights. Yeah. But then like tying it into a ponytail is like when Rock Lee does like the crazy thing and his skin gets all red. Hey Jake. 
I'm gonna hop on for me because I, I can't talk anymore. My voice is dying right now. I will indicate this. I have literally. It's on mute, by the way, but my voice is like hurting so bad. Dude, Marvel's so hyper. It's actually really bad. Why? Why? why what? What did you say? Uh, you, you just you know, know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? Can you hear me, Kyrus? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I gotta get this thing up here. Oh, there you go. Sweet. All right. How you doing, Jake? I am doing great. Uh, should I call you by your tag or by your name? Does it matter? Um, I don't mind. I don't know what the esports etiquette is. Yeah. All right. Well, this is my my buddy Kyrus. We came here together, drove together here in a carpool to come play some melee and PM. Um, and I'm joining here on commentary now for. Uh, this is actually the set I've wanted to see again since winners finals. I figured that it was going to come down to this and. I don't know. Uh, Chip is the X Factor, but I feel like it's going to come down to this in Melee tomorrow as well. Oh, yeah. No, I um, I would agree with that. Uh, and, like, both of these people, uh, very, very good at Melee, very, very good at their I feel like they're very and similar in that they're both hidden bosses. Yes. Um, I don't think they are necessarily ranked on a Melee and Army. They both have good wins. They've taken games from top players. Kamaster taking games from McD. Uh, Iquaman taking games off of Armada. Um, yeah, no, these both of these players are on another level. I was talking about it with uh, Orlando when we were sitting over there, but uh, the crazy thing that uh, you saw when Kamaster or Eichelman would play another player and they would be down a couple stocks or they'd lose the first game even, was that second game was they'd come in with confidence and then the adaptation and the punishes were just... It's just on another level than like what you see usually at tournaments like this. Mm -hmm. But uh, so far, this is actually an extremely close game, just like the first one. This is very close. And like I was talking um, to Ryan about, this is a complete, complete swing from their winner set oh, yeah. to where Eichelman just kind of got a little bopped. I think I think Eichelman, we were t we were calling it a ch we we're calling it Chad melee Chad PM like you know you just go and you want to show off you want to do too much cool stuff and then like you know that's all well and good but like when you fight someone like Kamaster you gotta respect oh Kamaster. that's amazing spacing by Eichelman wow. pretty much avoiding the nair avoiding all of Luigi's aerials and able to oh that, he teched it wow yeah he did he oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to cut you off yeah he, he may not have made it back but you have to like. I don't know, take those little victories. Like, when you text stuff like that, like, that's got to make you feel good. And it kind of makes your opponent scared, too. Like, if he's that on, like, what is he going to do to me when he comes back down from that platform? He's right. Invincible. And it's just like, well, maybe I can't do this or do that because he is looking for the stage tech. All right. Uh, one thing I've noticed about uh, neutral between these two is uh, it's actually uh, very, like, because Luigi gets a lot off trades with his Nair and stuff, and Eichelman gets a lot off trades with his uh, forward airs and down airs and stuff. The, uh, it's, it, like, look at that clashing and stuff. They're and just, it's crazy. They're the, just doing trades. And the course, the, cl the close quarters play from Kamaster is absolutely amazing. He is spacing completely out of the way of everything that uh, Eichelman is doing as he's in the corner. Mm -hmm. Just pretty much just smothering him and taking yeah. away all of his options. Yeah, just I, I, really I, nice to see. Honestly, tough to, wow, that was a good slow roll from the ledge. OP. But yeah, it's, it's, it's even tough. It's tough to say, like, talk about I don't know like when we talk about uh, other characters like what we should do or what what they should be like doing in the matchup or uh, oh. what they're doing well these two guys uh, they know better than probably anyone else here so it's just kind of interesting to watch that seven grand, seven grand. <laughs> uh, okay my new tag is seven grand seven grand seven grand that's kind of cool uh, it's actually not if you know the origin of it <laughs> and is it do I want to know? Is it esports friendly? It's a meme. Oh, man. And I don't want a meme tag. I don't want to go down there. Oh, Wizard's Foot! Eichelman, wizard's Foot! Eichelman has been getting so many of these. That was two Wizard's Foots. Misfire! Oh! Wow! Eichelman with a wow. hand on his face. Wow. So, jeez. We like, all know that. We all know that feeling. Um, essentially, just kind of got Luigi. He got Luigi. I mean, he pulled out the wit the double wizard's foot. That's that's from Eichelman's soul. That's his special power. That is he his yells special wizard's power. foot and it kills people. He, he does. Use it twice and Kamaster's like, let me show you why I'm a Luigi man. And he hit him with a misfire. You have some of this RNG. Yeah. I, I actually think it's a lie. I don't think it's actually RNG, and I think it's just a conspiracy that uh, Luigi players made up to keep us in the dark. But like, <laughs> they can actually control yeah. it. And they and they're, they're all super good about it. It's an Illuminati. They they don't use it too much, or people would catch on, but they can control it. Pretty much. I pretty much wish I could pull stitches 
<laughs> with the same frequency that Luigi's get misfires. Oh yeah, no, that would, would change a lot of matchups. Oh, it would make Peach uh, very scary as well. I, I think about I think about stitches when I see Peach pull a turnip, and you know you see the turnip come out, and you're like, okay, is it a stitch or not? Amazing, amazing sequence there where Kamaster not only stage texts it, returns to stage, but is able to clean up the stock as well. Yeah, and punish Eichelman for doing that in the first place. Luigi actually like a character somewhat known for like lower level players for his bad recovery and like how easy he is to gimp. Kamaster actually makes Luigi's recovery look like it's like on edge guardable. It's his sweet spots and like his off stage play and absolutely his, sweet spots. Doesn't uh, even when he uses green missile, he he does it at ranges to where it's not immediately easily punished. Yeah, it's crazy. It's just that spacing that it goes back to like the spacing is nuts. Right. Even on shield, when you look when he does on shield, he yeah, uses a little bit of aerial drift to take him out of the distance of a lot of out of shield options and like shield grabs. Oh, he takes that, but uh, off stage. Yeah, the, the sh I can't even comment on how good the spacing is because it's just it's on another level. Uh, I, what I would like to see from Michaelman is a little bit more eagerness to take the ledge from Kamaster and not giving it to him for free. I think that's the reason he's not doing it is because, like I said. Uh, Kamaster makes Luigi's recovery look amazing. If you remember in their winner's final set, he lost so many stocks to that coin spike. That is true. And I think Eichelman coming into this match, he's like, you know what? I am Ganon. I don't need to ledge guard you, Luigi. I can just punch you. May have just, yeah, con yeah. conditioned him to not even try it. Yeah, he's like, I will let you come back for free and let you think this ledge is a safe place and I'll punch you when you come off. And look, he's off the ledge and, oh, actually, Kamaster finds his way up with the forward tilts. And Eichelman, I don't, I don't know if I agree with those all the time. He just, like... Maybe against like a, a player that has shown that they're going to miss the spacing on something and then get caught by that, but the, uh, the cra- oh wow. The, the, like, the crazy thing about these guys is you just kind of just- uh, they both have to like respect each other and just kind of assume that they're both going to get everything. Ooh, I don't know if he ledge hogged that or he just didn't make it. Hmm. I think he just was a little bit too low. Um, but yeah, oh wow, he is three stocks ahead right now. Eichelman, I think the change of not going to ledge against Luigi, I think that was really what hurt him in winner's finals was, as you can see, whenever Ganon goes to the ledge like that, if he drops down there in that situation and uh, Luigi gets that downer, uh, I feel like the downer up B ladder on Ganon, like Ganon's recovery is not good enough for him to fight down there. Yeah, same. I, I don't necessarily support Ganon going really deep for edge oh, guards. Oh, he stomps him. Oh, even Eichelman, with even the, Eichelman said it. <laughs> Eichelman with a minor, with a mini pop off. He said ooh too with the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man. Yeah, the great stuff from both players. Uh, but Eichelman taking a game. That's good. Uh, uh, Very always good. great to see more melee. Uh, great to see adaptations and counter adaptations. I like that you say more melee when it's PM. Uh, uh, can you hear me, Orlando? Okay. So we go to Dreamland. I'm expecting uh, this was a. Maybe a counter pick to Eichelman? I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure why they go here because I feel like Ganon lives forever on this stage. But Luigi would too, and mm. be because Eichelman's not really electing to, he's respecting Luigi's recovery. Probably the best. Oh, Lu Luigi's no. going to live really long. Yeah, especially if he gets uh, caught by stuff like that. Luigi's going to live a lot longer. Ooh, questionable get up attack by a Kamaster. But, uh, you know, if you don't really get punished too hard for it, it's not that bad of an option, I guess. So let's see if uh, Eichelman takes the ledge. No, he just hits him. Excellent bear, but amazing DI by Kamaster. He ends up living it. Yeah, his counter pick uh, coming in handy, Ooh. and he gets stopped. And Eichelman is just <laughs> not having it. Yeah, oh, that Nair. The yeah, Nair follow ups. Uh, is really good. I think he's played Eichelman enough to respect the fact that Eichelman will go for that choke at the ledge. Mm -hmm. And he just does not, he just respects it and he waits. And he goes for something else. Oh no! Uh, and, and he, tried to, he tried to text something, Am to text something, and uh, Luigi just knocked him off. Killed him. And uh, Kamaster doing different stuff now. Uh, he's using uh, his down B, which he hasn't really used this whole time to try to like catch Eichelman for a combo and make an even bigger lead. Punches the and, misfire. And Eichelman really, really <laughs> shining with these edge guards now. Yeah, he's a... Uh, I think this is literally uh, what's changing the match is uh, 
he kept going too hard. He wasn't respecting Kamaster's ability to sweet spot and just really play around the ledge well. And so he's like, you know what? I'm just stay on stage and play my game because I don't want to play yours. And because I saw what happened in winners finals. A great adaptation. A Absolute, great, like, amazing adaptation. Another by misfire Eichelman. though. Oh, and. You know, I love when Eichelman does that. I love when I love when Bizarro does it. I love when all Ganon's upbeat people out of shield because people think Ganon's like weak when he's in his shield and he has no options. And Ganon's like, yes, he did. Yeah, so it counts two one. There we go. But uh, Kamaster is. You know he's he's looking a little s more solid on this counter pick. I think I think the uh, stage is really helping him because like he is. Oh, that was that was crazy. So Eichelman actually gets a lot off of uh, he gets a lot of momentum off of people cheering for him too. Excellent recovery recovery by uh, by Kamasha. Really good on both on both ends. Uh, Eichelman's adaptations really fighting to not let Kamashra get back. Oh, that's And then he gets pineapple. He gets pineapple. The misfire not helping him out this time. That's unfortunate. Oh, he gets a uh, flame choke though. This is this is where uh, Eichelman shines is a uh, when he has a, when he has a stock lead on you, he will go for it. He'll just go in. That is another misfire. That is